are pretty awesome. We're heading out, driving to our spot. Love the mountains around here. break beside the road here and of course they have to go explore there's Justin a really nice place right here beside the road there's our truck and little trailer full of stuff Here we are at this massive lake. Got the train in here, got to unload everything and then go get some more stuff. Eventually there's gonna be four tents set up out here. There's Clayton and all their gear, some of their gear. Huge, huge lake, beautiful. So these wall tents are super easy and fast to set up. And I'll talk a little bit about as we're putting it together, how simple and easy these things are. And I'll tell you where you guys can find one of these. We actually bought one years ago. We use it a lot to go elk hunting in Montana. We used to go caribou hunting now and we've used it a bunch of places. And so we decided to get another one. So we're gonna have a 10 by 12 and an eight by 10 on this trip. So basically we actually bought this eight by 10 uh, and you can get the, the frames as well from the, uh, with the wall tent shop and it's called walltentshop.com is where you get all this stuff but just to save on shipping we just bought these 10 foot uh electrical conduit one inch electric conduit up here in alaska and then we just cut it yesterday and uh basically you get the angle kit all the angles are are proper you just slide it together like that it's super simple so basically just put up the frame and then we're gonna put the uh the cover over it the tent over it and then we'll put the sides on that's super important Now we just pop the corners in. We already covered it up. And we'll just get this all situated right here. Good to go. Okay, let's do it. Boys installing the chimney for the first time. When you get these, it comes with a stove jack right there. Uh, with this cover around, uh, fireproof cover, but you got to cut a hole in it the size of your chimney that you want. The first hole. The day is about over with here and no fish for today. Not sure why, but we're gonna we'll be here all day tomorrow, part of the next day. 
So that's dinner, baked potatoes. Uh, I made chicken and hot dogs. And Wyatt, Wyatt's got his plate, fixed his plate there. Looks pretty yummy, Wyatt, huh? Yeah. We're all set up in here. Got a clothes drying rack over there. And our cots. I'm gonna sleep in here with Wyatt and Avalon. Got all our food over here. And got a couple lights going on here. Pretty comfortable. Yep. Yeah! 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 Having a party in here. It's about bedtime, but everybody's playing a game and nobody wants to go to bed. Well, we're settled down for the night. We've got four tents here, a little tent city. It's snowing right now. It's pretty nice. Good morning. It's a bit of a snowy day. It snowed a little bit all night. As you can see by our snow machine here. I even brought my trusty broom along and uh, got to broom this thing off. Hey, there comes Avalon. So we're going to go out and start do some fishing. Hopefully we can catch something and uh, see how the day goes. We're out here fighting the cold temps. Brutal. catching anything this morning so we're trying a totally different new area here seeing what if we come up with anything all right look at that you guys they got a massive lake trout good job you two well guys emily and i and our two youngest children are heading out to see our husbands and all our kiddos out there they're they've been fishing out there they they went yesterday and I think so far they only caught one big lake trout. Um, so I'm hoping they get more. But it's been snowy. The roads are really snowy right now, so I'm just driving slowly, but we're almost there. It's like a three hour drive. So we're gonna go see them for the day and we made some soup and are taking some uh, bread and cookies and stuff for them to eat. We're gonna eat with them. And then later, Emily and I are gonna drive back and they're still gonna stay there another night. Yay, look who showed up. Yep, we made it. We're still on Emily here. Where's Emily? Right there. So they came with more food, like we need more food. We've got so much food, it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get out there. It's about a mile and a half out there. Well, we are here at camp and see what Logan is holding. They got one nice big fish. Wow. It's almost as big as you, Logan. It's like this little village here with all these tents. This is pretty amazing. Wow, they're like a mile out here on the lake. It's a big lake. So Wyatt wants to show me the inside of the tent. You want to show me how it looks, Wyatt? Joe's feet have been really kind of hurting him yesterday. He's doing a little better today, huh? Yeah, I was just too much on my feet getting prepared yeah. for the trip. And so yesterday I was pretty much out of commission, it felt like. But I was able to get the tent set up and stuff, which was good. Okay, let's go see this little humble abode. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, nice. Nice little tent. They have their sleeping quarters on like a tarp there. And then foam. Yeah, and a foam. Pad, plus they sleep on foam pads, plus they sleeping bags, plus they covered them with quilts, so. <laughs> and lots of food. <laughs> yeah, yep. lots of food. It's what you need. Wow. There are not, not too many rules when they want something. I say just go eat or just go drink something, I don't care. Yeah. Not too many rules out in uh, 
fish camp when it comes <laughs> to food. Yep. Have fun. That's the most important thing. Have fun and create memories. That's why we're doing it. Yeah. Not because we're going to catch a bunch of fish. I mean, For that sure. would be the end goal. I mean, that would be a goal, but not. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is to create memories. So that's why we're doing it. Yep. Right, Wyatt? Mm -hmm. You're still here until tomorrow, so hopefully yep. there's a few more fish. Yeah, and we just did, we lost uh, one of our poles. The bait was gone, so we're going to rebait up and um, maybe we can, Get maybe on. they're in that spot that we've tried, new, a new spot that we've been, that we've been fishing at today, so yeah. who knows? <laughs> My little Eskimo children. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago when Priscilla and I were up at uh, another lake for the night, we I used this lure, we used this lure and we caught some a bourbon on here, so maybe this lure is the magic lure. We'll just try it, see what happens here. The saga continues. Now it's snowing again. And uh, we're not catching any fish. So I'm not sure what to do. We've tried every configuration we can think of, but probably because we're newbies at it and it just takes time. And also, I think sometimes I've heard, you know, some weekends, some days they're hot and sometimes they're not. So well, we picked a not day. We got one, which is good. That's awesome. But we've got a lot of poles in the water, a lot of people fishing. And you would think that we'd have, you know, some kind of luck, but we're still here tonight, tomorrow. And uh, we'll just keep trying, so... We're just doing active active fishing. Then we got some sets out that are uh, just sitting there that we're keeping an eye on. So just trying all kinds of different. Every every uh, uh, rod's got something a little bit different on just to keep try try everything. Justin's putting the finishing touches on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's Wyatt over there. Hi, Chloe's guys. in the middle, and that's Avalon. Hello, guys. <laughs> and I'm on a cot on this side. Jess and Ethan are next door. So Hello, next get, door neighbors. Yep. Yeah, just getting settled in for the night. <sighs> All right. Good night, guys. Beautiful fresh morning out. Looks like Justin or Ethan is out there jigging. I think we have a burbot or a light trout on it. Whoa! Oh, man! No way! That is a huge burbot! Whoa!
Oh man. That is fat. Hold it. Yeah, I can see now why why they're fat in lakes and long in so, rivers. Yeah, in rivers they get longer, but in lakes they get like fatter. Yeah. And that thing is fat. Fat. Wow. Oh he shit. just swallowed her. That is huge. When I saw reeling up, I thought, man, this is kind of heavy. Look, it's got but it never it's fought it's until it came right really? out of the surface. Is this the one? Negative. 13 degrees this morning, and uh, the lines we said earlier are already frozen, so we're just checking them again here. We figured for sure we'd score a couple of burbot in this area, but so far it's been negatory. Whoa, whoa, close, close, oh, stop. what's something's? No, oh, she's go snagged down. on the ice. She was hauling up on it, but it was. There we go. Oh, you got a fish on there, but it's only part fish. <laughs> All right, try again. Yeah, there's something. There's something. Yes, hey, we got a fish. Jesus. We got a fish. Thank yes. You. Yes. Come on. We got Wyatt, a fish. Wyatt, do you see Alpha? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Wait, 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 Chloe. Wait, wait, wait. That's a big one. What in the world? You got it? Oh, man. coming out. Oh, no! Thank you, Lord. Woo! Good job, Good job Nice. Lord. I am happy. You got to look how beautiful that thing is. Wow. Wow. Awesome, awesome. Finally caught a third fish. Wow, we sure worked hard for these guys, though. Well, we're going to go up and get packed up. Clear it off really nice today. Sun's out. Looks nice. All right. I think these guys are ready. little black that'll eat it'll be fine there's a warmer situation all right butter we burnt the butter we ripped the gallon ziploc bag we were mixing but hey who cares it's a bush kitchen Okay, I told you I would tell you where you guys can find these uh, wall tents. And we just spent two nights here in, uh, in Alaska, South Central Alaska, on this massive lake. And these stoves and these wall tents kept us toasty. Now, it doesn't have that much insulation where you can't just like sleep in there. And uh, I still had to get out one time a night, you know, and keep the fire, stoke the fire. These stoves pretty much held uh, wood all night long, but I still to get, create more heat. I just I got up at least once or twice a night Okay, so some of the cool features about the wall tent shop by the way wall tent shop Dot com right. There's the number 1-800-234-1150 and you guys can get a discount um, If you reference Montana Haven, but just a couple of the features of this uh, these particular uh, wall tents, walltentshop.com, that they do differently than other wall tents. Not all wall tents are created equal. I like the wall tent shop. First of all, I like the price. The price, I think, is better than any of the price that I've seen, and I've researched a lot before I, I went and bought my first uh, canvas tent from <clears throat> the wall tent shop. Now we've got another one. But some of the features, there's a lot of features on here, but some of the things that are different than other uh, places is they all they reinforce all the corners and the the peak. So every place that's like the poles are at, they're reinforced with double canvas. And a lot of places you just get grommets. They put actually put D-rings on here, which is super important because grommets rip out. Now it comes with all of these uh, guidelines that you can cut to whatever length you want. We didn't use them because it's not windy out here on the lake. Um, you, they carry the stoves, they carry all the accessories. They've got like a, I'll show you inside a place where we can dry our clothes. Now, some of the other features that just come standard that other companies would charge for is this eight inch door flap. So it's got a big, big heavy duty zipper. And then it's got this eight inch door flap that you can clip shut when you leave. And it completely keeps the wind out of it. And it's not like uh, the wind doesn't try to blow in through the zipper and stuff. That's a really nice feature. The other thing that comes standard is a back door if you want and a, and a window. 
There's no extra cost if you want a back door and a window. We don't, uh, I have a window, actually two windows in this one, but I didn't do a back door. All of the windows come with uh, zippers on the side and Velcro on the top, so it's completely sealed off in the inside. And then if you do want to open the window, it's got this screen so the mosquitoes and stuff can't get in. It provides plenty of airflow. And you can have oh, as many windows, I think, as you want. You just custom order and tell them what you want. They'll build it for you. Um, the other thing that it is, this these wilderness tents are equipped with 10-ounce Army duck fill canvas. It's a heavy-duty uh, canvas. A lot of companies have cheaper canvas. So these are some of the features that, uh, that I like about it. And I really think, again, for the value, they're going to give you the best price. Plus, you're going to get a discount, I think, if you reference Montana Haven. Uh, just for the next period of time. It's it's not very long time, but they said they'd do that. I asked them if they'd do that if I talked about it um, for you guys. So, uh, it's just a great, yeah, great value, great price. And I think it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Now, I want to show you a couple things on the inside yet. Uh, and they've got different size models. So, you can get it from 8x10 to huge. So, you can just get whatever size that works best for you. But let's go check out the inside. I'll show you a couple features that I like about the inside of the tent. Now you can get this uh, Walt, this uh, coat hanger as well if you want. So you just uh, bolts onto the side of this and you can hang all your stuff. And this is really nice because you can hang it by the stove and keep everything warm. Let's talk about the stove for a second. So they come in all different sized stoves. You can get, this is one of the, I forget, maybe it's the medium sized stove roughly. And then we also have a smaller one on the other side, but this particular stove holds the heat like it would hold a fire all night. Uh, but like I said, we, we stoke it during the night just to kind of keep it warmer in here, but it will have coals in the morning. I've done it if you just stoke it up. So and it, it also comes with, there's all different features you can get. Just go on the website and check it out. It's got a shelf you could put on the side here uh, that you can like a warming shelf. I think it's got like a water heater that hangs on the side. You can heat water with it. Uh, it's just a cool stove. And all the zippers, the other thing, the final thing is the zippers uh, on all these are the YKK zippers. So they're heavy duty zippers. I've not had one fail yet. Um, and the, oh, another thing that I, I remembered, if you don't want to get the angle kit and the poles, you can actually, let's say you were wanted to go super lightweight backcountry. What I've done many times elk hunting is I don't want to carry all this weight in the backcountry. So what I've done is I just take trees, lodgepole pine trees. You cut one for the ridge pole and there's already holes cut for that. Uh, you can put one for the ridge pole and then you can put your Y braces on the ends and you can build the whole thing, the whole frame you can build uh, with just like lodgepole pine or pine or trees that are straight. So you could actually potentially just wrap it up. All you would need is if you just want the wall tent, wrap the thing up, take it back in the woods and build your own um, frame for it. It's not, not too hard to do. So let's, I'll go show you the other tent. This one is a 10 by 12 and our other one's a, a 8 by 10. Well, so we're packing up in here. As you can see, Ethan's packing everything up. This one, we put two cots in this 8 by 10. It fit really nice. It'd be a little tight with three cots uh, in here for an 8 by 10, but you could get a little smaller cots. These are pretty good sized cots. So this is the smaller stove. This one key to this tent really nicely. Um, there I've got a clothes rack hanging over there. They also have a gun case that you can put on here. And it also comes with a floor um, in here that, that we don't have the floor in here. But then if you want, it, if you want the floor in here, you could put the stove mat down. And we just decided to use the stove mat keep the, uh, so it doesn't melt as much. But uh, you can put the stove mat down. That way your floor doesn't melt. And, of course, it's got this waterproof uh, stove jack. It comes, um, you have to cut a hole in it uh, when you do get it, in case you didn't want to put a chimney in it, of course. But most people probably do so you just cut a hole in it and this never sets uh, on fire i keep seeing other things that i forget to mention so if you want to uh, take this back you can actually clip this back to here but i have snow around the flaps it comes with a flap all the way around the bottom so what i do is i i bend it put the flap out then i put snow up against it and then it's completely airtight so i don't want to pull it up right now but this can actually clip up to here and then you've got this screen with another zipper if you want to have that like during the summer and that'll keep the skeeters out we should definitely need that in alaska the chimney has a flap right there if you're not going to use a chimney or if you do have a hole there and the chimney's not there you just put the flap down and it's velcroed on there so that seals it off there's they thought a lot of, about these things so they work good uh one other thing that i thought about the whole tent comes with a fly if you want so you can get another fly that goes over top of this if you don't want this to get wet which is cool it's just that I didn't think for this application that we're going to use it. And then 
But we do actually have one. We got one. We might use it at some point if it rained, like in a rainy season. That would be really handy. And then we actually got it where it extends out, I think, 8 feet or 10 feet out. So now you have, not only have the tent, if it's like really rainy, if we go deer hunting in, in uh, on like Prince William Sound, and it's, it rains a lot there. So now we can get all our gear in, in here and get out of the rain, and then we can keep everything dry in there with the stove and sleep in there. So that's kind of the thought with the fly. So all in all, I would definitely recommend you check out walltentshop.com. Give them a call. They've got good customer service. They'll treat you right, and uh, they'll give you a discount if you mention Montana Haven. So go there, check it out. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, we just really appreciate it. We're going to get packed up. We still have some things to do. There goes the train. Four sleds. All right, the last load out. Justin, Ethan, Avalon, and I heading out with the machine. Like it never happened, just some ashes, and that's about it. Here's a big lodge that's right on the lake and look at those mountains on the Alaska range. Justin, what were you saying about that peak right there, that big peak that looks like a volcano? Mount Hayes, the biggest mountain outside the Denali group. Justin and Ethan are like walking encyclopedias. They study every stream and river and creek and lake and mountain range and everything else. have for dinner right here some good burbot they're huge look how big they are so are they ethan uh what was it about 20 this one's a little over 28 inches that's one like 27 and a half inches. nice they're fat look how fat they are yeah amazing so we're gonna deep fry those and have those for dinner we had them frozen up until now There goes the burbot that we caught. He was swimming around yesterday. We got a batter, batter that we mixed up. Ooh, doggies. Oh, boy. Burbot nuggets. Wow, those look good. Okay, ready for round two. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a meal, what a feast. So mm -hmm. grateful. So these are the burbot, again, that we caught on the lake this weekend and this last weekend. 
and then we deep fried them and we soaked them in salt water and then milk and then we deep fried them. Delish. Been a lot of fun making this video and coming out here with the family.